Hello boys and girls, thanks for joining us again for another online assembly. It's Uncle Robert here from FPC Kids with you today. Now before we bring today's message, we're going to start off our assembly with some lovely lively singing, so do join in. Boys and girls, today in assembly, I only want to speak about one little thing. And it's one of the letters found in the alphabet. Now, I wonder which of the 26 do you think it might be? I'll give you a clue. If you're sitting up well and you actually have your arms folded, then if you look down, you can actually see that you are, you are already making the shape of the letter that I want to speak about. Have you got it? Yes, it's the letter X. Now, to help us with this little assembly lesson today, I put a little verse up on the screen beside me. And I want to share this verse with you. It's found in the New Testament. It's found in Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Now, I put it up behind me for a reason. Because as I read it out, I want you to begin to count. Now, you can do mental arithmetic or you can use your fingers. And as I read the verse, I want you to count all the letter X's that are found in this verse. So are you ready? But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Well, how many did you find? Are you still counting? I'll tell you what, we'll have one more go and then we'll find out how many axes you have counted up. So here we go. But God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Okay, counting finished. Slip your hand up if you think there are five or more X's found in this verse. Okay, hands down. Put your hand up this time if you think that there are at least one, two or three X's found in this verse. Well done, hands down. Okay, last time, put your hand up if you think that there are absolutely no letter X's found anywhere in this verse whatsoever. Wow, it looks as if most of you boys and girls think that there are no X's in this verse anywhere. Well, the answer is, in actual fact, one, two, there are three secret, hidden, invisible X's found in this verse. So well done to those of you who said three. Now, if you're completely baffled, let me explain where each of these three hidden axes are actually found. And we'll do it by way of some illustrations. Now the first hidden axe that I want to look at is one that's sometimes found at the end of a little text message if you send them. Or it's maybe at the bottom of a little handwritten note. Or a lovey dovey Valentine's card. Or as is the case here with me, on a beautiful birthday card that I received. And at the bottom of this birthday card, there are lots and lots of X's. And sometimes when you send that little text message, if you really know the person, maybe it's your mum or dad or your granny, you'll put an X or two at the bottom. And all those X's at the bottom are kisses. And of course, those that, of you who send them, you do so to let that person know that you love them. Now, if you look very closely at the first line of this little verse that we've been showing you in Romans 5, you'll discover the first of our secret X's because the first secret X is all about the love that God has for each of us. But God commendeth his love toward us. That big word commendeth just means shows. But God commendeth his love toward us. That's the first X. Boys and girls, it's really important today that despite the fact that sometimes we are so unlovable because of our behavior, 
God is still willing to love us. In fact, the Bible says God is love. That's the first X. The second X, however, isn't just as as pleasant. And I want to talk about something that you boys and girls don't like to talk about. Because even in lockdown, I am sure that your lovely teachers all still give you homework to do, don't they? Now, the second X that I want to talk about is something that you might find in your homework book. And I have a little example here with me today. Because I've been doing my homework, and I've been doing some sums, and I have handed them into the teacher, and she has taken a look at my sums, and I've discovered, boys and girls, that my teacher, she loves me because she's put a big kiss at the bottom of my sums. No, there it is. Well, you're shaking your head saying no, but a few moments ago we were all in agreement that if you put an X at the bottom of a text message or a birthday card, it means that you're giving somebody a kiss because you love them. And now you're probably shouting at the screen saying to me, it's there because of something else. That X isn't because of a kiss or because someone loves you. It's because you've done something wrong. And of course, boys and girls, you're right. This particular X is here to point out something that I've done that's completely wrong. But you know, the funny thing is this. Whenever the school teacher puts a big X beside something you've done wrong in your homework, they actually do it because they love you. You never thought of that, did you? You see, they have taken a lot of time and a lot of effort and they've sat down and they've painstakingly gone through all of your work and whenever they spot something amiss, something that you have done wrong, they put a big X beside it to show you that you've done something wrong. And they do this because they don't want you to continue making the same mistake again and again and again. And you know, boys and girls, so it is with God. He has given us his precious word, the Bible, to teach us right from wrong. And sadly, however, we all fall short of what is required of us, even in something as simple as just the Ten Commandments. Our lives are just filled with axes, the axes of our wrongdoing. And this brings us to the second hidden ax in our verse, because it says there, in that while we were yet sinners. You see, boys and girls, if the first ax... That first hidden X in the verse is all about God's love for us. Then the second hidden X is all about the fact that we are sinners. You see, boys and girls, not giving God his rightful position in our lives, not honouring our parents, lying and stealing and taking God's name in vain and not keeping his day and so on and so forth. These things are breaking God's commandments, breaking God's law. And if the truth be told, and if we were able to scrutinise your behaviour every day, and even up to this point today, there would be lots and lots of axes placed alongside the words that you say, the actions that you do, the thoughts you have, the intentions that you plan. And all of these axes are multiplied up more and more every day. And you know what? They just don't go away. And the Bible makes it abundantly clear that if they remain there, At the end of life's journey, our sin will condemn us and we will sadly be lost forever. But gladly that brings us to the last X. And it's the most wonderful X of all. Because although it's hidden, it's there. You see, if the first X is God's love and the second X is the sin of the sinner, then this third X that we have up here brings the two together. Because... God loves the sinner so much that he's not willing that any should perish. And so to deal with our sin, in love he transferred all the punishment that we deserve onto his own son, the Lord Jesus, whenever he died on the cross for us. And so therefore this third hidden X in our little verse is really twisted round to make a cross. Because this third hidden X Reminds us of the cross upon which the Saviour died. Christ died for us. You see, boys and girls, the Bible makes it clear that because of Christ's death, we can be made right before God. The Bible tells us that it is the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, that cleanseth us from all sin. And by simple faith, our sins can be blotted out. They can be pardoned. And all the axes of our wrongdoings can be taken away forever. And we are forgiven forgiven by God. And so there we have it today, boys and girls. The three hidden axes in Romans 5 and verse 8 
God's love for us, we who are sinners, and Christ's death to take away our sin. Not automatically, but only if we repent of that sin. Only if we humble ourselves and say sorry. Only if we come and put our trust in him. He will forgive us. So we'll leave it there for today, boys and girls. We'll let you get back to your classwork. And hopefully, you'll not get too many of those big X's from your teacher. And anyway, you can always tell them that they just do it because they really love you. Let's have a little word of prayer. And then we'll let you get back to your lessons. Let's just do our ABC of prayer. Arms folded, heads bowed, eyes closed. Dear Lord, we just ask of thee to remember the boys and girls in school today. Remember all the teaching staff and all the responsibilities and the difficulties they have to face. Give them a measure of wisdom and help in doing so. But we ask, O oh Lord, that these little lessons on the hidden axes and found in Romans 5 and 8, that we'll apply them to our hearts and lives, that we'll realize that there's a God in heaven who loves us. And we who are yet sinners can be forgiven because Christ died for us. To that end, bless us and keep us, for we ask it all in our Saviour's wonderful name. Amen.